everybody, this is Meredith from The Papery Craftery, and today I am hoping to answer some of the questions I get the most on my blog and on some of the videos as well. So things like, do I really need to use a slotted tool, or do I really need to use a needle tool? I prefer this one, I really like to use that one, which tool do I need to have? We're going to do a little pro and con list today, try to help answer some of these questions. I'm going to start off with showing how to use a needle tool. This one is my personal favorite tool. It's super old. It's from Lake City Crafts, which isn't in business anymore, but I can't even find a wooden handled needle tool. I have a few of these and I really like these. Now, when you're using a needle tool, the big thing is getting it started. So you can see my finger behind the tool there. I'm actually using a lot of pressure holding the paper against the needle to get it started and then using my thumb to start spinning it. This is a feel thing. It's really hard to teach this, especially on a video. This is just one of those things you have to practice. Once you get it, you get it. It's just about using the pressure of your hands. And I really like this tool because it has a flat base where the needle meets the wood, and it allows me to sort of push the coil into it and keep it all together as I'm going. It just makes for a very smooth and steady coil. This purple one here, I don't know the name brand. I think I got it from Amazon at some point in a set. I just wanted to show the difference. This has sort of a big indent at the base and that kind of prevents me from being able to push my coil against it the way I like to. It sort of just makes me feel like my coil is always going to be uneven and you can see at the end it's not really the case. The coil comes off the tool perfectly fine. So this this needle tool is just fine. For me I prefer the wooden one. Again they're hard to find so if you use the other one everything will turn out just fine. Again, the biggest thing about the needle tool is just getting started and trying to figure out how to use your fingers to start the coil on the tool. So now let's move along to the slotted tools. And I have a few things to show here for these as well. So the first one is another, you can see this is already, I've worn away a bunch of that. That was also Lake City Craft. Now, Craft Harbor has taken over Lake City, so you can still find these green slotted tools. Um, I will mention they do have one on their website called a fine tip slotted tool. I personally cannot figure out how to use this. It just has a different end to it, and it's just, it's not the same. So you just want to find the regular slotted tool, I think. So you just put your slotted tool, the only difference is is you're turning the tool instead of turning the paper and you can see there that there's a tiny little crimp in the center that's going to happen because of the slot in the tool right and that slot can really bother some people there's a couple of things you can do to get rid of that if you have a small pair of quilling tweezers you can kind of ease it back to the side and you won't notice it as much or you could use, if you do happen to have a needle tool lying around or a toothpick or something like that, you can kind of nudge it to the side or you can just leave it. It's really, it's really not a big deal to have the crimp there. I know some people don't like it, but it's just not something to stress over. And here is another slotted tool with a wider um, tip. If you're using maybe a wider papers, one quarter inch paper, something like that, you'll need a different tool. And this is a fun Quilt Creations Savvy Slotted Tool. This is great for people who have wrist pain from using a tool. You can see there you just work it with your fingers instead of moving your whole arm. And I have a whole blog post about reviewing this. I'll drop that in the description box, but that's a fun one if you can grab one of those. And then I also have, I just did a video on using this. This is a long slotted tool. So you can see it has a long end and then a slot as well. So I use this to make cones and there's another video about that. I will link to that as well. And here is one more option. Let's say you can't decide. You can get a two-sided tool. This one is from a company called Doris. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I will link to that. And best of both worlds. You have one side needle tool. It's pretty sharp though. And then another side is your slotted tool and it's one thing to note about slotted tools this is one of the downfalls for me is i drop things pretty often and it's hard to see there because it's so small but slotted tools can bend I've, I've lost a few this way i usually just get a little 
exacto knife or something and pry it back open, but something to think about. So pros and cons, it really isn't a ton. This is completely up to you. You can see I've been doing this for a long time. I This has been all of my tools. I just keep trying out new ones because it's fun to try new things. So I hope that helped a little bit. And then again, the good thing about these quilling tools is that they're really, really inexpensive. So for a few dollars, you can try one out. If it's not what you like, try something different, go to a different brand, get a couple at one time to see what you like, and you're gonna find out what's best for you. So as always, don't forget to leave any questions and comments down below, and like and subscribe if you could, and that way you're gonna be notified next time I make my next quilling video. Thank you very much, bye-bye.